Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to show you guys another small mod today, and this mod is called a Modernized Equipment Mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. Basically what this mod does is that it adds in a lot of useful items into our Minecraft game. This mod only works single player, and it does not right now at the moment work multiplayer. So let's go ahead and review some of these items, I mean most of all the items. So we have ourselves some ores right here. This is a lead ore, a silver ore, and aluminum ore. These ores can be found underground in your overworld so just go ahead and go out mining and you'll find yourself one of these ores at the moment it doesn't seem that the lead ore and the aluminum ore are of use so we can't really be able to use them at the moment there's really no, nothing that you can craft with them but we're gonna be using the silver ore a lot the silver is like required for most of all the crafting so we're gonna be using the silver ore a lot so let me go ahead and mine this and show you guys the droppings of these so when you mine the lead ore, you'll receive yourself two droppings and here we have ourselves one little dropping and if we mine this up so there we go so now the ores are gone and now we can collect the scraps and these are all scraps steel scraps we have ourselves lead scraps and aluminum scraps these scraps could be used for crafting and let's go ahead and start crafting so this is the base items these base items are gonna be used for the rest of the crafting that I'm gonna be showing you later on let's so let's go ahead and open this up and show you so this is a grinding stone and a black leather. This is the crafting for the black leather. All you need is leather and an ink sack and you have yourself a black leather. You're going to need this for a chainsaw and some other stuff, a holster. You're going to need a lot of things. So this is a stone and a flint which will make a grinding stone. We're going to be using all of these. So just keep in mind that base items are used a lot. So now let's make ourselves a black leather dagger. So once we go inside our chest, I'm going to show you the crafting. So to make this dagger, we're going to need the blade, of course, which is a sharpened steel. And we're going to make ourselves a handle, which is going to be crafted with some black leathers. So if you see right here, we have ourselves some steel scraps. We're going to place four in our crafting table in order to get ourselves some refined steel. With that refined steel, you're going to place it down here with a grinding stone to receive yourself a sharpened steel. So now if we get both of these together, we can craft ourselves a dagger. Now let's get ourselves right here into our crafting table and craft ourselves a black leather dagger. This black leather dagger is a sword like so and you can start fighting mobs and it'll kill zombies in two hits. I'm not sure how powerful this dagger is, but it's very powerful. It's like two hits and you kill yourself a zombie. So now let's check out the steel drill. This is the steel drill. So let's go ahead and open up this chest and show you the crafting. So so we're going to need ourselves some steel scraps and that's, you know, you obtain that from those ores that I showed you earlier and you're going to place them down like this in a crafting table and you receive yourself a drill uh, topper. So let's get that drill topper and now we have to craft ourselves a drill motor. So to craft that you're going to need one redstone and you're going to need eight of these refined steels. And I showed you guys how to make that over here. Was it over? Yeah, it's right here. So to make a refined steel you're going to need some more steel scraps. So once you have received yourself enough refined steel, now you can craft yourself the drill motor. So, so the drill is actually pretty easy to craft. It's not really that hard. So let's go ahead and place the drill in the top and place the motor in the bottom. Now we have ourselves a steel drill now let's place that into our uh, you know inventory and this actually drills really fast so let me show you how fast this is you could literally destroy everything extremely fast this is faster than a diamond pickaxe even if when you're out mining it's very fast let's go ahead and try getting this lapis azul there we go now we have it so now let's go ahead and craft ourselves something different we're gonna craft ourselves a chainsaw and the chainsaw, you know, of course, it's going to be used for wood. So let's go ahead and make our chainsaw engine. So let me go into this chest to show you. Here we have ourselves some leather. We're going to use this leather to make ourselves a chainsaw engine cover. You have to cover up the engine using this leather. And then after you're done crafting yourself a chainsaw engine cover, now you need to craft yourself an uncovered chainsaw engine. So to do that, you're going to need five redstones, and here they are, and four refined steel, which I showed you how to craft earlier. So now let's go ahead and grab this chainsaw cover and this engine and place ourselves them inside here. There we go. Let's just place it inside a crafting table and there we go. Now we have ourselves a completed chainsaw engine. Now let's put that into our inventory. Now let's make ourselves the blades and the chains for the chainsaw. So in order to make ourselves these chains, you're going to need more refined steel and you're going to craft it like so like this to get yourself the chain link. And then once you have yourself three chain links, now you can craft yourself a steel chain. 
and with that steel chain we're gonna be able to craft ourselves a chainsaw so like how we are crafting ourselves a dagger we're gonna need to use the blades of that dagger in order to craft ourselves a saw so we're gonna need about four of these sharpened steels to craft ourselves a saw and once you have got the saws and you got yourself enough of these steel chains now we can craft ourselves the chainsaw and here is the chainsaw this is basically how to craft the chainsaw so let's go ahead and go into our crafting table and place them in the same exact order and this actually crafts a chainsaw and the chainsaw is very powerful and let's go ahead and check this out let's place ourselves the chains the saw and the completed chainsaw engine and there we go now we have ourselves the chainsaw so now let's check out the chainsaw look how powerful this is uh, I was really hoping for some audio effects, but you know this mod is still in version 1.1 and it's still improving So this mod actually has a good idea planned out So maybe in the future updates It's gonna have some audio mods so you could uh, be swinging your chainsaw and it actually sounds like a chainsaw So let's check out the speed of this and it's very fast way faster than the diamond axe So wow, we could just go mining out some trees and cutting down some trees and all that good stuff so there we have it we have ourselves all the tools we have ourselves a driller we have ourselves a chainsaw a dagger and yet there's gonna be way more updates so I'm gonna be looking forward to this mod this mod is really cool and I really like this mod but the next set of items I'm gonna be showing you is unknown to me so I don't know what these items do so let me go into this chest and show you so I don't know what you're supposed to be doing with some refined lead maybe at the moment there's nothing of use for these items at the moment so I'm not 100% sure I know that this powdered lead doesn't do anything since the creator did say that but I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the refined aluminum I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the refined lead so maybe there's gonna be uh, more sets of chainsaws maybe there's gonna be some other power tools that you could be able to mess around with maybe I don't know maybe he's gonna add in a flamethrower I'm not sure what else is gonna come out he has a lot of ideas I'm pretty sure uh, he has a poll where he asks people questions of what he should add in next and I voted for a mob maybe he should add in a mob I'm not sure maybe a mob sounds good maybe some more items so yeah that's basically it this mod adds in a few items and if you guys are still interested in this mod you want to know how to install this mod and if you guys want this world download links in description I'm not hundred percent too sure how this map actually looks so let's go ahead and check it out let me fly up and show you guys how it looks it's a big house and it looks pretty awesome so anyways if you guys want to install this mod let's go ahead and install this mod and another cool thing that I've noticed before I left his thread was that he's a big fan of Death Note now I love Death Note I love that anime I'm not sure if anyone ever seen that anime but Death Note it's still one of my favorites so yeah let's go ahead and install this mod alright so let's go ahead and install this mod this mod is really easy to install so we shouldn't have any errors but the first thing I'm gonna want to do of course before installing this mod is to go here to options and force ultimate game the reason why I'm gonna force ultimate game is because I have mods currently installed if you guys have mods currently installed I always recommend to back them up because you're never too sure if this mod is compatible with any of your mods if it's not compatible you will get black screen and you won't be happy so options force update and login to download a brand new minecraft thought jar in which we're gonna mod I'm gonna go ahead and leave this updating so I'm gonna minus this and you're gonna get the downloads from my description you're gonna get mod loader and you're gonna get the modernized equipment mod from my description it's gonna take you on my website because they are at flight downloads and get the downloads and drag it here to the desktop in which you can see it better and remember that the ores do not show up in creative mode so get too many items if you like I'm gonna go ahead and install too many items while I'm at it because the ores do not show up so yeah let's go ahead and install this mod we're gonna go here to start search program file we're gonna type in percent app data percent and for Windows XP users you should see here run and you run percent data percent and it should take you up here to the roaming folder click on the roaming folder and you should see dot minecraft at the very top when you go into your dot minecraft folder you're gonna see bin resources save and everything else go ahead and go into your bin folder before you open up your minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder you have to make sure you have your minecraft game closed Here's my Minecraft game that I just forced updated. You have to exit off your Minecraft game before installing any mod. So exit off your Minecraft game. Now you're going to right click your Minecraft thought jar that's located in your bin folder. Open with WinRAR or any 7 zip opener. If you don't have WinRAR, links in the description. So go ahead and open that up with WinRAR and move it aside. The first thing you have to do, of course, before installing any mods is to delete meta inf. You have to delete meta inf. So right click meta inf and delete files. Say yes and delete meta inf. Now meta inf is gone. Now we can continue. You're going to open a mod loader. So go ahead and open a mod loader and you're going to move that aside. You're going to highlight the files from mod loader and simply drag it all into the Minecraft.jar side. And we please press OK and you are done with mod loader. Go ahead and exit off mod loader and move it aside. Now you need the modernized equipment mod. So go ahead and open that up 
and move it aside, you're going to highlight all the files from the Modernize Equipment mod and simply drag it all into the Minecraft.jar side and replace press OK and you are done with the uh, Modernize Weapon mod. So go ahead and exit that off and move it aside. Now you need too many items. It, this is optional. If you want to play legit, then do not install too many items. So open up too many items if you like and go ahead and highlight all the files from too many items and simply drag it all into the minecraft.jar site and replace press ok and you are done that's basically how to install the mod you can install not enough items or too many items either one works so, so let's go into our minecraft game login and check this out so i'm going to go to single player i'm going to go into that world that i was in and remember the world downloads in the description so here we are and it should be able to work if i open up one of these chests i should be able to have the items in my inventory so here they are and too many items is installed perfectly and here are the sharpened steel and here are the refined steels and you know the chain links and all that good stuff so the mod did work and this mod is really awesome thank you guys for supporting me thank you guys for all the likes the ratings and all that good stuff i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you hey man it's your buddy pork chop you like the music in the video go ahead and subscribe to josh woodward right there the green box if you like the review or the tutorial go ahead and subscribe to my buddy scm owns they're both nice people they like me they call me pork chop and they think i'm really cool Cool, just look at my eyes, look what I could do with them. Pretty awesome, right? Anyways, go ahead and subscribe to one of those too. It doesn't matter which one, maybe both, you know, maybe you're that cool. Come on, man.